Hey there, guys. Penobi here bringing another Pokemon narrative Wi-Fi battle. Today I have Wild Chase with me. Uh, in Where? Her... Right, right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> so like the video if you guys enjoy um, Wild Chase and Yu Yu. This is actually a team that we made together. Sort of a Scott and Rick versus the world with Wild Chase. It's yeah. more like Scott and Wild Chase versus the world. I, I don't know. It's just Scott and Chase because you don't have Scott and Dangerous Series them. It's just Scott and Rick. So it's Scott and Chase versus the world. But, uh... Yeah, this UU team was made to centralize around the Kingdra sweep, and then Scott kind of wanted to utilize the Clefable and uh, Cresselia core. And this t battle also took place before the RU tier was implemented, just as an FYI. I don't know. Good call. But, so let's go ahead and jump into it. The opponent's going to be leading off with a Mamoswine, while we are opting to lead off with our Wild Create, our Victini. Which is our main lead for the team, so I don't know, random note. But, uh... I opted to want to go for the U-turn on this move in case he was a Focus Sash Mamo and then wanted to uh, retaliate with an Earthquake, which could take us out. So U-turn seemed like a better play at the time. And obviously we can just go into Cresselia to be immune to the uh, ground uh, stab and all that kind of stuff and just fire back with a Toxic to see what he wants to go into. Really, the only move we could go for in general is Toxic. It can hit anything on his team. Plus, if we want to set up Rocks, you get a free Toxic off on him. But he actually goes out to Audino, so that's kind of cool. And we know this thing probably will have the heal bow, but since Toxic has more PP than heal bow, if it ever came down to PP stalling, we know that would be the advantage on that note. Plus, we know that that thing can't really hurt uh, Clefable as much, so we figure it's a good opportunity to get the rocks up as he goes for whatever he wants to go for, which is the heal bell, which uh, it's alright, we can get around it, and at least we got our rocks up, so that's kind of cool. And plus, uh, Clofu can obviously take the status, which Idino will probably carry since it doesn't have much offensive prowess. So we're just going to go for the Seismic Toss on this turn to hit whatever wants to come in. And it happens to be Neo King. And just in case, it's a physical variant, which I thought it wouldn't be, but just in case he wanted to be that weird, go to Cress. He does just go right for Earth Power, so now we know he's fully special, so we can use that to our advantage later. And the fact that he switches out on this turn might indicate that he's choice, although Cresselia is pretty bulky and packs the Ice Beam, so... Uh... Either way, so, it was a pretty good move. Decide to go back out to Clofu because we knew he was special at that point, so we figure, all right, we can sponge any hits. But he pulls out a switch to Togetic, and uh, yeah. So we're just going for the S-Sauces here, get a little damage, see what he wants to do, and he's actually going to reveal Nasty Plot to us, which uh, might indicate a baton passing Togetic. Yeah, and we didn't want a Toxic at any point, just cause, because also he could go out to Audino or uh, Nido King at any point. didn't seem like a great play to do. So, like, we, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go to our Nidoking. King. Uh, obviously, we can hit it pretty hard. Plus, it seems like if we needed Death Water, it'd be the best thing to have. But he actually baton tests out to his Lilligant, so we're thinking, alright, Clofu should be able to take the hit. It is special bulky, max special defense, with a special defense boosting nature. So we thought we could take it better, but really can't. So, unfortunately, it's not looking too good for us. So we're just gonna opt to go out to Wild Create hoping that he is just going to go for another offensive move and we'd obviously be able to outspeed because we're scarfed and fire off a V-Create. But he goes for the sub, so we're going to kind of opt to go for the U-turn just so that we don't get sleep powdered and then forced into an awkward situation so that uh, we can have Wild Create kind of just a revenge kill him or something like that. So we can just go into Shofu here, and this way we can at least just continuously go for the S-Toss so that way we'll be able to get Victini in with a sub. Or Plus with him, not wanted... a sub. Sorry, but uh, plus if you wanted to go for the Sleep Powder, we could block it since we're toxic already and then get a Seismic Toss off. But because it went right for the Giga Drain, we're just going to have to leave in Clofu to die and bring in Wild Create for free. Got a crit, didn't matter. Other pokes to take it, etc. Just going to go for, I believe, the standard V Create here, knowing that there's yep. nothing really on his team that's going to take it. So, yeah, just fire off V Create. Nothing on his team could really take it. So it was the safest move at the time. Actually, he did have one guy, but I guess he didn't want to play the prediction game. Yeah, I think he has, like, a Froligator or something. So he brings in this Mamo. We know that it can outspeed after the speed drop, so we're going to have to switch out. Well, actually, it can't unless it's Scarf, but now we're thinking that he might be either bluffing the Scarf or be just kind of cocky in general. So just going to go right into Cresselia. Takes the Stone Edge fairly well, which is kind of weird Stone Edge, but I guess he was predicting Crest, too, so... Yeah, obviously he didn't want us to get in uh, with an immunity, although Stone Edge doesn't do Jack Diddley balls. And uh, there goes the Toxic, you know, it's like, that's all we can really do with Crest, because Ice Beam won't do shit to anything, so might as well Toxic. Force him to waste a turn to go for the uh, Heal Bell, so we can get a free switch into something to try and threaten him. So we're going to opt to just go to Snowflake here, knowing that his main uh, counter to it with Audino would have to be the Toxic stall, and we are Resto Chesto DD. And he's actually going to pull a double switch to Nina King. I don't really know why he did, but he did. 
So we're thinking we can live one Earth Power at the very least, get off a of Dragon Dance, and then at least kill him off the Waterfall the next turn. So that's going to be our thought process, and it's going to work out pretty well. He's going to opt to try to sponge that Waterfall by going to his Feraligator. Which uh, will kind of take it fairly well, and we're thinking from that damage, maybe an Outrage can take it out, hopefully. But uh, that will not be the case. He barely lives. Would have been nice if we could have gotten another Dragon Dance up, but we aren't, so he's just going to take us right out with Ice Punch. And he doesn't have Life Orb, so it kind of makes you wonder what type of for alligator this is. But, uh, Scott? doesn't really matter. We're just going to Revenge with Scott Tile, which is going to be uh, nice for us. Pick up that little bit of advantage and switch out on his Mammo, since we do have a solid counter in Crest. Yep, plus, again, if he, if he wasn't Scarf, you know, it would make more sense to stay in. But since we are pretty sure he's Scarf, especially with that switch in, Crest seems like the best option. He actually has the Icicle uh, Spear. Which, it actually doesn't get if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, I think he meant, like, Ice School Crash or something. I don't know. But, whatever the case, we still take it fairly well. Uh, no, he's going to want to go to Dino here, so we pull the double switch out to uh, Wild Create, so we can fire off that signature move. And obviously, as we already covered, uh, he doesn't really have pretty much anything to take it. And he makes a really awkward play here, going for Protect, which is actually just going to Toxic Stall him to where he won't be able to live AV Create. And it gives us just enough HP in case he does live and goes for the Wish that he will not be able to live another Toxic damage. So as you see here, we almost hit him down, but he, I believe he tries to, yep, he goes right for the Wish, but because of that one extra turn of Toxic damage, that will be enough Toxic damage to be able to take him out, so he kind of wastes his Wish there. Yeah, although in, there wasn't too much he could have truly done in that scenario. Maybe he should have just gone for a Toxic and then tried for a Double Protect or something, I don't know. Yeah, and we're thinking here that Nido King will not be Scarf, at least we're hoping so, and he isn't, so we're able to take him right up with the V-Create. As Wild said earlier, we had suspicions that that Mammo was going to be Scarfed, and yeah, two Scarf on the same team isn't something that you generally run into. Uh, unless you're really that insane like I used to be, but, you know, most people aren't. So yeah, just going to go back to Cress. Um, it's been our consistent counter to this Mammo, not really needing to change our battle uh, plan, really. Yeah. So... Obviously, we're just going to go for another Toxic, because we know he probably will opt to switch, and getting Lilligant Toxic will help installing it out, so... Especially because he like has sub, so we don't want him to be able to block it later. Yup. So, we get the Toxic off right there. Uh, Crest does have pretty good natural bulk, so even if he tries to Quiver Dance up, which he does, we can at least hit him with an Ice Beam or two, so that uh, he'll be just be pressured, so he can't get up too many Quiver Dances. And the bonus for us here is that since he does have the Toxic, that damage is of course going to be accumulating, so by keeping the pressure up with the Ice Beam, he's not really able to set up to the level he'd be comfortable with to attempt a sweep to outspeed our Scarf Victini. Yeah, basically that. So he only got a, like... Fuck, why do I have a text? Sorry about that, but, uh... Shut up, Snow... er, phone. Shut up, Nick. That That's who just texted me. He actually just texted me about the metagame. But yeah, there's just stalling here anyway, so... We're going to talk about my best friend who just texted me, but not really. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're pressuring Lilligant. Giga Drain. Do you have anything to talk about this Giga Drain, Scott? <laughs> not particularly. I mean, he's his only real hope to take out this crest would have been a crit, or whatever the case may be. I guess he could technically finish this off if he gets like some max damage or some bullshit. I don't really know. The point <sighs> is, uh, by keeping the pressure up with the Ice Beam, his Lilligant wouldn't be a problem for our team at all so yeah yep so because of all the pressure that ice uh toxic and ice beam is giving him he'll eventually be taken down mammoth swine can't do shit to us even with the icicle spear we can take it pretty decently plus we do still have a uh, wild create so if crest did die we could at least revenge him with that but that's not the case so we can just take him right out with the ice beam so that's the match so yeah it's gonna be a good game hopefully you guys all enjoyed uh wild chase isn't an asshole for any oh darn i wanted to flame that guy I know, right? I totally should go to his t t channel and leave a comment. He's yeah, totally. Okay, but in all seriousness, thanks for watching. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed, like you did, etc., etc. Go check out Chase. Uh, Why? Uh, rate, com rate, comment, sub, and later, guys. Yeah, rate, comment, sub, and uh, yeah, later, guys. I love you. Why?